It's the award-winning radio program. Relax and enjoy. And now your host. Hi, all. We want to welcome you to the new segment of A Voice in the Desert. It's titled Manna from Heaven. In this segment, we will share with you some short nuggets of the Word of God. This segment is done with the purpose that you might have a time with the Word of God for those brief moments when you need to hear from God or you just need some rest time in the Lord. Different from our podcast that goes more in detail into the Word of God, the segment manna from heaven are brief and intended to expand your knowledge of God and your intimacy with His Word on a more frequent basis. We pray that it's edifying to your walk with Jesus Christ. God bless. Hi, I want to welcome you to uh, the segment from A Voice in the Desert, which is our new segment titled Manna from Heaven. Okay, here's where we're going to get ready to speak to you about some words of God, uh, short tidbits where you can take with you on a daily basis and go ahead and meditate on the Word of God. Um, we still do have the full podcasts, okay, which speak more in depth on the details or items that we are talking about. So, for today, okay, the title of today's Manna from Heaven the segment is titled, Not Being Prepared Can Cost You Your Life. Now, what do I mean by that? Even people in the Bible that were not fully prepared tried to loosely cast out demons. Then some of the iterant Jewish exorcists took it upon themselves to call the name of the Lord Jesus over those who had evil spirits, saying, We command you to come out in the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches. There were seven sons of a Jewish high priest named Sekiva. Doing this, the evil spirit answered, I know Jesus, and I know Paul, but who are you? Then the man in whom the evil spirit was jumped on them, overpowered them, and prevailed against them, so that they fled from the house naked and wounded. This you will find in Acts 19, 13 through 16. Be careful and ensure you are properly trained and instructed in the proper ways of deliverance and covered with the Holy Spirit. These men were lucky they got away with their lives, and all they got was a beating. But the Bible instructs us to test the spirits, for false Christs and false prophets will rise and show signs and wonders to deceive, even if possible, the elect. Mark 13, Mark 13 22. A deliverance minister is an imitator of Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. Write that down, look it up, mark it up, and hide it up. A deliverance minister is an imitator of Christ. We have authority. Look, this is what the word said. Look, I give you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing by any means shall hurt you. That is in Luke 10:19. So why did these Jewish exorcists, these ignorant Jewish exorcists, get a beating from these demons when they came to cast out these evil spirits in the name of Jesus Christ? Why? Because they were not of Jesus Christ. They were not doing it according to the way that God wants it to be done. Okay? And they were ignorant of following Jesus Christ, thinking that all they can do is just mention his words and his name and it all will be done. No, you have to be blessed by the Holy Spirit. Okay? And this has to be a calling upon your life to do this type of ministry. Okay? 
Jesus spoke to demons and told them, go. We tell them, go in Jesus' name. And Jesus modeled how to perform deliverance. Jesus rebuked the demon, took authority over it by giving it a command. And then they had to obey Jesus. So Jesus has to live within you. Okay? He, you have to be a reborn Christian. Okay? There's a lot of things that are... Um, there's a difference between exorcism, okay, and deliverance, okay, deliverance. Uh, but that we're going to speak to you at, uh, at another topic, at uh, manna from heaven, okay. I pray this edifies you. You look up these verses, you read it. Um, take the ministry of deliverance very seriously because it can cost you your life. And the life of the person that you are trying to save. If you are not known in these practices, read it up in the Word of God and ask for God to give you your guidance of what your calling is. Okay? So, uh, my name is Caesar, and I am a voice in the desert. God bless you. Thanks for listening. You can also follow us on Twitter, okay? And our handle on Twitter is A the Desert. That's where you're gonna find the voice in the desert at the handle A the Desert, okay? So follow us there so you can uh, get our tweets throughout the day and uh, some encouraging messages. You can also listen to our podcast uh, in iHeartRadio. All you have to do is search for a voice in the desert uh, and like us there and put us down as your favorite. And you can listen to us on your daily commute as you're going back and forth in your car uh, and listen to us in, as, uh, at your leisure or at your home. Okay. If you think that was enough, we got another surprise. You can find us at iTunes. Okay. On podcast iTunes. Just search for a voice in the desert and you're going to find us right there. And all you have to do is subscribe to it. Uh, anytime a new podcast is out, uh, it will automatically be downloaded onto your device. Okay. You can also follow us at Stitcher Radio. All you have to do is uh, search for a voice in the desert. You're going to find us, follow us, and you'll be able to listen to us at your leisure. Okay. And, uh, but always, uh, your first recourse should be a www.avoiceinthedesert.net. There you will have all our archive latest, message, latest messages and also uh, downloaded uh, materials that uh, we provide for you for your learning experience. Okay. Once again, thank you for listening to us. God bless you. And uh, can't wait to give you our next message on next week. Okay. Take care. Bye. Tell your friends and family about us. Please follow us on Facebook and subscribe via iTunes.